Hello crafters! I hope you're ready for some more fun crafts. Today we're going to work with salt and light. We're looking at the passage from Matthew chapter 5 that talks about how we as Christians are the light of the world and the salt of the earth. We shine in the darkness and we bring things flavor. Well, that is to say we make a difference for and with Jesus Christ. So we're gonna make a few crafts that remind us of that. The first one we're going to do today has to do with light. And we're going to decorate a fun light craft that reminds us that we are not to hide our light, but to let it shine before others. So we're going to have, I'll give you the basic rundown, a tea light. Now this can be electric or an actual candle or a mini candle of some sort. And then we're going to put it under a cup. Simple enough, but we're going to have some fun and decorate this as well. We're also going to put it on a paper plate so that we have something that we can carry it with, something that we can hold it. You could also use something like um, a piece of cardboard or a piece of paper or cardstock, but plate might work well because it's easier to carry. Anyways, let's get to work. We have lots of crafting to do today. So we're starting out with our plate or our paper as our base. We're going to start by decorating that. And we're going to say, let your light shine. And then down here, we'll say something like, don't hide God's love. Something like that. And now we are going to, we can decorate our cup a little bit. This is what's allowing the light to shine through. So yes, we are covering it, but we're not hiding it because as you can see, the cup is transparent. I can see through it. So we're going to have some fun. We're gonna throw on some decorations some stickers here, stickers on the cup. I could add some stickers to my plate. I can add some extra colors to my plate. If you really wanna to go to town, you can throw on some glitter. And now you could also take a Sharpie and add some words on here. Something like, something like light, sorry, can't really see that. Light of Christ, you definitely can't see that, I apologize, or write your name. Anyways, then we've got our tea light. Now I put it in a little cup like this, little plastic ramekin. You could also use something like use a mini pie pan. You could use a piece of paper. Lots of ways that you could keep this kind of nice and neat. But actually, that's kind of fun. So we'll put it in. You can still see this. We'll put it in my nice fireproof pie pit tin here. And you can, of course, if you want to actually light it, do so carefully. And with lots of parent supervision. Or you can just have it be something like this. Obviously, if you have battery operated, even better. If you want to, you can also secure, you can see this is kind of wobbly. So maybe I want to secure my cup with a little bit of tape, something to hold it down. And then I've got, you've got kind of a little homemade candle. You can take this home, use it as a centerpiece, have a nice, fun candle tea lit dinner or something, or just remember to shine the light of Christ for others. So that is craft number one. Now I have craft number two, and then I have craft number three and a half. Craft number two is pretty simple. We're going to make a salt shaker. So since we're talking about being the salt of the earth, we're looking at salt for these next couple of things. Now I happen to have a baby food jar here, an empty baby food jar that's obviously been cleaned out and the label removed. And then on the top of this, we've got some holes drilled. Truth be told, 
this was formerly used for glitter, I'm not gonna lie, but hey, recycling works too. Or you can make your own by drilling your own holes in a baby food jar. You could also use just a regular cup and put a cover over it. You could use a cup like this and put a container over it and poke some holes for a really archaic kind of salt shaker, I guess, or perhaps a plastic container that has holes in it, anything that could resemble a salt shaker. Or, hey, you could even go to the dollar store, pick up some really cheap salt shakers and decorate those. But we're just gonna add some decoration. And since this is very small, I'm also going to add a little piece of paper to remember what this is for and why we made it. So, paper could say something like salt the earth be the flavor of Jesus. That sounds a little odd. I don't know. It's kind of communion representative. But anyways, um, and then maybe I'll put my name down here. And a verse reference. Matthew 5. There we go. So that's kind of my caption to go with this. And then on the actual container, which this is obviously not that big, so I would recommend using something that's a little bigger so you can really have some fun with it. You can cover this with cloth, or you can cover it with paper, or you can just cover it with stickers like we're doing here. Um, but I encourage you to have, have a lot of fun with it. Um, this can kind of be a component of it. Obviously, this is bigger than it's going to wrap all the way around there. So that's kind of a very, very long sort of a caption there that could be, don't put it on top because then you can't get the salt out, obviously, but kind of hanging on the side or dangling. This clearly should have been much smaller, but you get the idea of it anyways. So we have our salt shaker of funness here. Then what does one put in a salt shaker but salt? So our next item is going to have to do again with salt. So there's salt shaker, very basic version of salt shaker. Next item is salt itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to make something that could go in that salt shaker or could be used for the third and a half craft that we're going to do. So I have your basic regular table salt. This trick works with sugar too, by the way. And we're going to pour some salt into bags. What we're making here is we're going to make some colorful salt. Now we're going to use standard food coloring that is non-toxic. It's not going to taste any different. It's not going to look, well, it is going to look different, but it's not going to um, be any different to eat. It's totally edible. You can eat food coloring. It will not hurt you unless you're like allergic to red dye number 40 or something, in which case, please don't. But I'm just going to do a couple to show you how this works. And then we're going to add some fun colors. So you really just need a couple of drops of food coloring. Probably just a couple, and then you're going to want to seal it up and shake it. So shake it, shake it, shake it all around. And voila, I have blue salt. That's fun. So I'm going to do the same thing. And of course, you can use whatever colors you like. I'm just going to do a couple of colors to demonstrate. I'll do blue and I'll do a green. And then show you one more thing that you can do with them. So we've got our salt, our colorful salt, and you could put this in your homemade shaker. You could put this in another salt shaker. You could sneak it into a salt sh shaker unbeknownst to anyone, and then watch them freak out when they go to put some salt on their potato and it's green. It's like an April Fool's trick, so you're welcome. Anyways, we've got our colorful salt here. Oh, it looks like glitter, doesn't it? Well, sort of. Edible glitter. Tasty, salty, edible glitter. So, we have our colorful salt, and now let me show you what you can do with this. Now I'm going to use 
a dark, I'm gonna try a dark purple. I have a black paper as well. I'm not sure which one will show up really, really well, but we'll see. Now we're going to make some salt art. So this is the fun part. Basically, you're going to start off, you can kind of draw whatever sort of picture you want. So maybe we're even gonna draw a light bulb on here to remember what this is all about. So here's my doo -doo -doo light bulb, such as it is. This is a rather lopsided light bulb, but you get the idea. Here we go. And then from here, I'm going to caption this with some nice big letters. Salt and light. And I'm going to put a cross over here. Now, I am going to, this is the fun part, I'm going to throw some glue down here. So I'm basically going to put glue wherever I plan to have salt. So I'll put glue all the way around my lovely light bulb. And this is one where you could use a glue stick, but I think it will work better if you have this kind of glue or maybe even some tacky glue. Uh, probably not hot glue. That melts a bit or hardens a bit too fast. It might be painful. So here's my... Doo -doo -doo. Now I'm going to just sprinkle this salt all over the place like I would with glitter. And what's left is a fun textured kind of an image. You can also, um, you can have fun with this with paint brushes. You can brush on your salt or you can um, watch, you can have watercolors and watch the salt dry. There's lots of ways, lots of methods of doing fun salt activities and paintings, but we're going to kind of let this get all worked around. And then I'm going to pour the excess back into the bag. So let's not eat this because it has glue on it. And now I'm going to go over here, throw in some more accents here, get a nice glue blob going for my cross. And maybe I'll just throw in some fun right there. Why not? And here I come with Mr. Green Salt. Pour that all over the place. So this is fun because we get to be tactile. Hey, if the kids want to eat salt while they go, I mean, that's your call, whatever. Um, but it's fun, it's colorful, it's creative. It's a lot of things. It's semi-edible, probably not the glue. But there we have da -da 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 -da, a little poster to remind us to be salt and light. So we have salt art, we have salt shaker, we have colorful salt. We have not so salty, but light themed craft. So wonderful ways to remember this great passage from Matthew chapter five and to encourage your students to be salt and light and make a difference with Jesus. Hopefully this gives you some inspiration for craft ideas and is a blessing to you and your ministry wherever and with whomever that might be. So what are you waiting for? Go make some crafts make some disciples. Join us again next time. We'll see you then. Have a great week.